Hello and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I've got a very special doll review for you. My friends over at Artclue, the doll company that makes the wonderful Lottie dolls, have sent me a whole big box of new Lottie dolls. And I absolutely cannot wait to open them. These dolls are so gorgeous. And Art Glue are actually celebrating Lottie's fifth anniversary, which is really exciting. Five years is a massive milestone, so I want to say a big congratulations to them for making it this far. Now, let me show you what I got. So they have sent me Mia, the wildlife photographer. Sammy, the junior reporter. This is Muddy Puddles Lottie, and she's actually from one of the older lines, but she is the original Lottie doll, one of their most successful dolls, so they thought it was important that I had her, and I'm so glad I now have her. Now this is awesome, they also gave me Sirius, the Welsh Mountain Pony. This is such an awesome set, I cannot wait to open it. And this awesome fashion pack, which is Be Yourself dungarees, t-shirt and wellies. Now let's get started. I'm going to open everything and show you all of these awesome dolls. Before you watch this video, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my original Lottie doll review. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen and probably in the description. And then as soon as you finish that one, you can come back over here and watch this one. Okay, let's start off with the awesome original Lottie doll. This is Muddy Puddles Lottie. And can I just first of all say that these boxes are absolutely awesome. They've got these beautiful illustrations on them. They're really colorful and vibrant. Look, the little windows in the side are shaped like umbrellas. I think that's such a cool idea. And they have a little roof and a little handle so you can carry them around. And they have this little gold medal hanging off here which says Positive Role Model Award. And if you look at the back of the box, you can see more beautiful colourful illustrations. Lottie looks really cute here. There are pictures of some of the other dolls you can get in the line and a little story and it says this Lottie doll belongs to there and you can write your name. I just think these boxes are so adorable but now I'm going to take her out of the box and give you a closer look at the doll. Okay, and here she is out of the box, and this Lottie doll is absolutely adorable. I love these dolls so much. And can I just say, as a doll collector, I really appreciate the detail and the quality that is put into these dolls. So first of all, she has a really cute face. It's quite cartoony. She has a cute little fringe and long, beautiful soft hair, which is, again, really nice quality. She wears this cute little yellow raincoat, and the t-shirt she's wearing underneath has a little rainbow on. She wears blue little corduroy shorts with buttons on. And this is what I mean about the attention to detail. How cute are those little buttons? And then she has some stripy blue and white leggings and some really adorable tiny little yellow wellies with bows on the back. She really does look like a real little girl and I think that will be great for imaginative play. She also bends in all the places you would expect and she has rubbery, bendable legs, which I absolutely love, because so many dolls these days, you can't bend them at the knees, and I think that really hinders the possibilities for imaginative play. So that is Muddy Puddles Lottie. Now let me open Junior Reporter Sammy. First of all, of course, I have to show you the box. Now, it's very similar in style to the other box, but this one has what looks like a sports day going on in the background. This doll is part of their gold collection, and this basically means that it comes with a couple more accessories. And something that I absolutely love about the Lottie dolls is they're very gender neutral. On the back of the box, of course, there is another gorgeous illustration of Sammy and a couple pictures of other dolls you can get in this line. Of course, it also has a little story. At the sides, they have little newspapers as well. I just absolutely love this doll and I'm so glad I finally have a boy Lottie doll. Now I'm gonna take him out of the box. Okay, here is Sammy out of his box. This doll is really cool. I absolutely love him. Again, like I've mentioned with all of the Lottie dolls I reviewed, the quality is just unparalleled. So if I give you a closer look here, you can see how cute he is. He's got such a cute little face, um, and he's got this cute little hair, and the hair's real, unlike Ken dolls, where it's like plastic. And he has this cute little hat. He's got a little yellow, puffy body warmer. The t-shirt underneath has some headphones on, which I think is really cool, and it has stripy sleeves. He has these cool denim jeans and these awesome 
red Converse on. And he also came with a whole bunch of accessories, which I think is really cool. He came with this pen, which I've clipped onto his thumb, and it stays on there really well. He has this little satchel, which I guess he can keep all his reporting stuff in. And then he also came with this little notebook, which actually has a whole bunch of lined pages in it that you can write on. And of course, he had to come with the Branksy School newspaper. And one of the things I absolutely love about this accessory is it is full of pictures drawn by Lottie fans, which I think is such a cool idea. I've also been told that Lottie is gonna do something really new and really extraordinary. They've decided that from now on, all of their dolls are going to be inspired, designed, influenced by the Lottie fans. Which I think is such a fantastic idea because who better to design these dolls than the kids that play with them? On the first of every month, kids can send in ideas inspired by the theme of that month and then a few will be selected to become a real Lottie doll. They have loads more information about it on their website, so make sure you click the link in the description and head over to Lottie's website. But anyway, that is Sammy and all of his cool accessories. Now let's move on to a different doll. I can't wait any longer, so I think I'm gonna have to open Sirius, the Welsh Mountain Pony. The box is really cool. It's similar to the others, except this one is double wide. And the window at the front has been made to look like a stable, which is such a cool idea. On the back, there is this adorable picture of him. And there are pictures of the other horse riding dolls you can get in the Lottie line, along with loads of other cute illustrations. Now that I've given you a quick look at the box, let's take Sirius out of his box. So here is Sirius, the Welsh mountain pony, and he is so, so adorable. Can I also just quickly mention that these dolls are so easy to get out of the boxes. Thank you, Art Glue. <laughs> This pony is obviously a lot more realistic looking than the other dolls in the Lottie line. He's got a really cute face and beautiful long hair. Um, and it's kind of in a nice little ringlet, which I think is really cool. He's got removable reins and a removable saddle and even a kind of saddle cover thing, which is made of real material. And he's got a really long, beautiful, dark brown tail. Let me see if I can put Muddy Puddles Lottie onto him. There we go, and Lottie fits on really well. Oh my god, they look so cute together. It's making me want to go horse riding or something. So there we have, now I've shown you the beautiful Welsh mountain pony. Now let's open this awesome fashion pack, the Be Yourself dungarees, t-shirt, and wellies. I absolutely love this packaging. It's really adorable. I think the illustrations are really imaginative and really cute. They kind of remind me of a kid's coloring in book. Here is the little story on the back, and of course, pictures of other dolls and fashion sets you can get. Now, let me open this fashion pack and give you guys a closer look. So here is the Be Yourself fashion pack, and I've put the outfit onto Muddy Puddles Lottie and she is looking absolutely adorable. The t-shirt underneath is really cute. It kind of looks like one of those American Apparel t-shirts. It's got yellow sleeves and a white body. The dungarees are really adorable. They have the cutest picture of a little bee on the front and she has little white brown wellies to go with it. Okay, now I have one last thing to open. This is wildlife photographer Mia. First of all, let me give you a closer look at the box. All the boxes are a very similar shape. This one has images on the sides of a kind of forest and there are animals all over the place. She of course has a little handle and it again says Golden Collection on the top. On the side it says Photo Pro and on the back there is of course a little story, more adorable images of Mia and all the stuff she comes with and pictures of the other dolls who come in this line. Now that I've finished giving you a little look at the box, I'm going to take her out of the box and give you a closer look at the doll. Okay, so here she is out of the box, and this Mia doll is absolutely beautiful. I think she's so awesome. I absolutely love her red Rain Mac. I think it's so cool. Let me give you a closer look. So she obviously has a really cute face and really long, beautiful crimped hair. And this doll is rather unique because she's wearing a coglia implant, which I think is really cool. And she also comes with a little leaflet here 
which explains the importance of toys which are differently abled. And it just reinforces Lottie's message of inclusion and acceptance. She is wearing a super cute bright red rain coat, which I absolutely love. And then her t-shirt underneath has a really cute picture of a little ladybird on it. Her jeans are really cool and again it has a little button which I think is really cute. And she has these big red spotty wellies on which are super adorable. Her hair is actually a little bit longer than the other Lottie dolls as well I think which is quite cool. She also comes with this little hat. Because, you know, she's going to be out in the elements if she's going to be taking pictures of animals. Of course she comes with a camera. You couldn't be a wildlife photographer without a camera. She comes with a little satchel and she comes with another edition of the Branksy School newspaper. And this one has loads of photos in it taken by Lottie fans, which again is really cool. And I love the inclusion of the Lottie fans in the designing of the dolls. I just think it's such a fantastic idea. These two could probably work together. They'll probably make a pretty good team. So that is my unboxing of this beautiful Mia doll. Now we have come to the end of my second Lottie doll review. Thank you so much to Art Blue for sending me these gorgeous dolls. I absolutely love them and I love filming these reviews. It's so much fun and these dolls are such great quality toys. Now over to you doll fans. Tell me which one of these three Lottie dolls is your favourite. If you want to buy any of the Lottie dolls I've shown on my channel or any other Lottie dolls, there are loads in the collection, make sure you check out Lottie's website. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I'll see you real soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs>